And what the fuck is up, Juggalos and Juggalesses? This is Crazy McCormick for Juggalo a Day here up in this bitch, bitch. So far, it's been a crazy motherfucking week, hasn't it? <clears throat> Motherfuckers are just going nuts. There's a big rift in the Juggalo community. And uh, mainly that's due to the fact that, uh, you know, Young Wicked ended up signing to Magic Ninja Entertainment and brought a shit ton of baggage with them. JuggaloMarch.com has launched and people have been invited, uh, tons of people have been invited to do this concert for the march at the Jiffy Lube Amphitheater. Some have accepted and some haven't. And because of certain people, the Juggalo community has been going fucking berserk. Alongside with that, the Spanish side has actually uh, basically been putting their sights on Young Wicked because of that baggage. And on top of that, have also set their sights on everybody else at Magic Ninja Entertainment. Uh, fucking Fuego from Spanish side ended up making a diss. Gmo Ski has made a diss. Spanish side has been making a lot of Photoshop pictures, uh, basically threatening Magic Ninja. And that segues into the topic of the week. Because of Misery's behavior uh, going after Magic Ninja over the whole thing with Young Wicked and his baggage with uh, Jump Steady's daughter, Samantha. The topic of the week actually is the question, do you think that Misery should be attacking everybody at Magic Ninja Entertainment or just Young Wicked? Now, I don't understand the streets. Not that much. I'm street smart enough to know when to shut the fuck up and people tend to fucking leave me alone. But the streets mentality that Misery has obtained has necessarily been, you know, if you support a motherfucker, well then you're at fault too. Now I actually touched base with that uh, on my original channel recently. And, um... My feeling has not changed on that. Personally, I don't think that everybody on Magic Ninja Entertainment should have a target on their back when it concerns the Spanish side. That's like basically saying when Limp Biscuit and Slipknot were beefing and Slipknot was signed to Roadrunner Records, does that mean that fucking Nightwish, who was also in a signing distribution deal with Roadrunner Records is at fault too. A Finnish band from fucking Finland who have absolutely nothing to do with Slipknot whatsoever. In Fred Durst's eyes is Nightwish as, as, as in much fault as Slipknot over Slipknot and Limp Biscuits fucking beef with each other. No. No, they're not. Despite the fact that Nightwish and Slipknot are in the same fucking camp, they have no involvement whatsoever. ever. And it's irrelevant to try to say, well, they're from a different country. Because, all in all, they're on the same fucking label. So the Twisted, Blaze, ROC, Lex, Gmo, Boondocks, and fucking Gorilla Voltage have anything to do with Young Wicked? No. As far as I'm concerned, Young Wicked is an artist. Everybody on Magic Ninja Entertainment are fucking artists. And the things that Young Wicked does, while it can affect the outcome look of a label, it really has nothing to do with fucking Twisted or anybody else on that label. 
So no, I do not think that targets should be set sight on anybody except for Young Wicked. But then again, like I said before, I don't understand that whole streets mentality that Misery and his Spanish side crew seem to have. I can, on the other hand, understand where Misery is coming from trying to protect his niece. I have a niece too. I have a fucking daughter as well. And I love them both to death. And if anybody did my niece dirty, oh yeah, there would be hell to pay. But I would be setting my focus on the person that's at fault, not the people that they are engaged with. I'm the type of motherfucker that will only set my sights on the sole focus. Now, if somebody from that person's group decided to take it upon themselves to jump into the mix, that's a different story. But as far as I was concerned, the beef was solely about misery and young wicked. It had nothing to do with Gmo Ski. It had nothing to do with Fuego from the Spanish side. It didn't have anything to do with anybody from the Spanish side. I understand that family is everything. But it's really going to be in concerns of blood relatives. And I know that there's probably going to be some people out there who think I'm a bitch because of that shit. But to be totally honest, if I have nothing to do with the situation, I'm not going to involve myself. That's just too much time and energy wasted. On a side note, that actually makes me wonder what's going to be like at Juggalo Day, the gathering, and also the Juggalo March. But to be totally honest, that's a completely different topic. That's a completely different subject. So until then, I'm out this bitch. Tune in tomorrow for Mr. Mac and Hose. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Juggalo a Day and everybody in it. <coughs> And until then, I'm out this bitch, bitch. Peace out. Yeah, you know what that is. <laughs>